Welcome to Platinum Art Sandbox. Um, this is going to be uh, the first tutorial. Um, you can visit us at kids.platinumarts.net. And before I get into showing you uh, exactly uh, how to use Sandbox, we're going to take a look at what Sandbox can do very briefly. Um, if you'll notice up above, um, you'll actually see this, the sky, the clouds moving. Um, which is kind of cool to see the cloud cover. Um, also, some nice scenery. Um, we have some of this grass. Uh, if you look in the distance, there's actually a waterfall um, back towards the mountains, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is just an example of, of, of one of our maps. Um, some pretty cool stuff. And also we're gonna talk to uh, the, the baker quickly. I'll just, some nice thing glass windows. Um, let's go chat with the baker. And I'll see that he asks if I have any apples. Um, and also one cool thing is he, he calls me by name, which is counter. Um, so how many do you need? And okay, he needs 15 apples. So we're gonna go look for some apples. Um, so, I actually want to turn the grass off because it's hard to see the apples with the grass on. So what I have to do is I hit the hit the button above the tab key, which is called a tilde, and I type in grass zero. Then if I want the grass back on, I just type grass space one. And now I can go look for some apples. And I found an apple. And it says I picked up an apple. And now I can actually even look at my menu. I'm um, gonna hit escape to get into the menu and it says quest information. And uh, um, it says I've obtained one out of two quests. It means there's two quests on this map. Um, I haven't completed any of them and I've gotten one out of 20 apples. Um, and I look at my inventory and I have carrying one item, which is my apple. I have currently one apple. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create your own maps. Um, we're going to get into the quests in a later tutorial. I want to show you the basics first. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new map. I want to hit um, E first to get into edit mode. Um, and in edit mode, I can fly around and you'll see I have a box that's what's used for editing. Um, then I want to hit escape to open up the menu and I can click on new map. And this is how big I want to make it. You should never make it more than 18. Even 18 is huge. The most I ever use is 15. Um, so we'll stick with 10 uh, since we're trying trying a new one. So let's click on that and Here's our new map that we can use to uh, make stuff on so I'm still in edit mode flying around um, First thing I want to do is uh, hold down the left mouse button and then I click and I drag Now if I scroll the mouse wheel forward the ground goes down And if I scroll the mouse towards me the ground comes up. And then I can press spacebar to deselect. Now I can select the sides and another way instead of clicking and dragging is to use the right mouse button. Now if I use the right mouse button on the upper right hand corner, um, and then on the lower left hand corner, you'll see that it selects the entire area. Let's say I wanna um, change the way that looks. Uh, I can hit F2 to get into the texture menu and change the way it looks. So let's try making it kind of like a stone wall. Now I hit F2 to get out of there. And now I have a stone wall. Um, let's let's uh, add water. I want to add water near my stone wall. I'm going to click and drag to make another pit. Push that down my water. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click towards the top. So now that whole area is going to be selected. Then I hit F3 and I can go into, you can see we can, um, areas for if you want to make water back into regular, um, use air or if you're making uh, any any material that you, that you want to get rid of, you change it to air. Um, so we have glass in here, lava, clip, no clip, um, but we're going to add in water. 
and we get out of Edmo by hitting E, and now we can even see our, our nice stone tower reflected in the water, which is pretty cool, and the clouds as well. So let's say we want to add some palm trees around our water. I'm getting back into edit mode, clicking where I want to put the tree. Um, then I hit escape to get back into our menu, and I go to new map model, and I see that there is a palm tree in the list, so I want to click on the palm tree. Now let's say I want to decorate my water um, with more palm trees, I can actually just click on it, hit C, click where I want to put it, hit V, can keep actually clicking different places, hitting V, and I have palm trees. And if I want to see myself playing around near my palm trees and in my water, I can actually hit 9, um, and I can jump around. And I can actually hit 0 to change, to change the way it looks. And I could keep hitting zero if I wanted to cycle through more of them. And also, very important is on how to change the grid size. Um, let's say I wanna, um, let's say we're gonna get out of third person mode. If I hold the G button down and I scroll the mouse wheel, you'll see that the grid gets bigger and smaller. This is to, to do larger and edit, larger edits. So now if I click somewhere and I pull it up, I'll have a big block instead of a small one. And I'm going to make grid size smaller again. Another important feature is height map. If I select an area and I hit H, you'll see the box turns green. Everything in this area, if I scroll the mouse wheel forward, it'll uniformly go down or up. So now I can make so I can make pretty cool mountains. Um, you can actually do it. Um, outside of selections too, um, if you hold the control key, or just press H in general. But the purpose of having it selected is so that you don't accidentally destroy stuff you don't want to destroy. And that wraps it up. Oh, one thing I forgot is how to save, that's very important. Um, we want to hit escape. Again, to bring up our menu, then we can go to save map, name our map, and save it. Or we can use the console, which is my preferred method, um, which is the button above tab. Type save map. And uh, let's just call it test map three. And it's best not to have any spaces or um, crazy characters. Um, so we're going to call it save map test 3 and then I press enter and it saves my map. You can see that it says that it wrote the map. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, please visit us at kids.plotnetmarts.net um, and I hope you enjoy this